Cambridgeshire Fens has been farmed by the Shropshire family since the 1950s. But things have changed quite a bit since then. Advances in farming technology mean third-generation Charles is able to farm an area a hundred times larger than his grandfather. Large-scale operating has enabled him to survive in the competitive world of salads. Today's challenge, to plant 600,000 lettuces. OK, right, so your tray here, there's got 176 plants in here, all in line. And the aim of this is to feed the planter with blocks with this scoop. You've got to keep this machine full to so it keeps planting. Because if not, we have to end up hand planting it behind, slowing the machine down. All right, come on, plant, give us yeah. a go, give there us a go. go. I'm going to ruin the whole system now, but we'll, we'll give it okay. a go. So how many letters are we actually planting here? OK, so on average, over a week, up to three, three and a half million, sometimes four million, depending on the time of the year. We start planting early February and we'll finish planting end of August. Do we really eat this volume of lettuces every single day? We are eating between 10 to 15 million heads of lettuce per week. We are supplying about 65% of that volume. Do not let them run out. I'm not, I'm not, Charles, don't worry, I'm doing <laughs> my best. <laughs> OK. The tractor is driven by a GPS computer to produce immaculate straight lines so every inch of soil is used. But Charles's passionate drive for efficiency begins in the nursery where the young plants are grown. It's a futuristic place, run by robots. Over the course of the UK growing season, they produce 135 million baby plants, strong enough for life outdoors. Until 20 years ago, all of this work was done by hand. Automating the nursery has been a huge leap forward for the Shropshires, saving them time and money. But the planting still relies on a large amount of human labour, particularly when I'm involved. So how have I done, Charles? OK, well, look, oh, no. okay, look at the back. I don't think we're quite high yet. I think you need a little bit more training to start with, but generally, looking back there, yeah, I think you've done, you've done fairly well for the first time. While this machine may look as high-tech as it can get, Charles must keep pushing the boundaries in this fiercely competitive industry. His latest breakthrough is a Spanish innovation in planting that he's bringing to Britain for the first time. The system uses strips of small plants, all joined together in a long biodegradable tape, and the potential looks enormous. So what we've got here is a lettuce tape system we've been trialling, where we've got 900 plants in a tray to the 176 plants in a tray which we were planting earlier on. We need to reduce how much peat we're using as an environmental part of salad and lettuce production. So you can see the difference here. This size of this peat block... That's huge, it's okay, probably 10%, versus, isn't it? Yeah, versus the, the, the size of the plant. Put it potentially up 90 95% less peat yes. over the season. Absolutely phenomenal, yeah. isn't it? The tape system uses a new machine that plants so fast you can barely see each one going in. This saves Charles a huge amount of time. It also has another advantage. When we plant with the machine, we're then seeing better establishment and a lot more even crop and up to 10 to 15 per cent more yield per hectare. And then the people. We need 30 per cent of the amount of people to do this as we do the conventional system. So the same job just becomes a lot more efficient and oh, a, lot a hell faster, of a lot more efficient, which must yeah. then bring your cost of production down. We are seriously excited about this system. I mean, this is the future. This is the future. The one area they still need human hands is harvest. Iceberg lettuces are surprisingly tricky to cut. And as with everything, the boss has very high standards. Forward action, slicing the bottom. Right, now that's too low. You need oh. a little bit higher. That is now no good. We have to throw that away. Try and do it in one cut, one full sweep. What we don't want to do is overcut. Problem is, that will then turn brown and it fails the quality standards which we need to reach every day. So it's gone on the floor. Right, that's okay, on top yeah. of the machine. Perfect. Right, next one. God, talk about working under pressure, Charles. That's just... Yeah. 
at the moment, we've automated as much as we can. Because that, that must be the ultimate, is if you could get a machine, a robot to come and bang, bang, oh, yeah. chop so every got, lettuce. We have people working on it full time on how we can automate this process. It looks like a giant marquee. This factory on wheels cost £800,000. Although it saves a penny per lettuce by automating the packaging process. Every penny saved can be reinvested back into the business. This machine never stops. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so we can get the full efficiencies out of it. All the guys have to do is just cut the lettuce and place on this machine. Everything else with the packaging is done above us. Once on the conveyor belt, the lettuce travels upstairs. Here, it's shrink-wrapped, heat-sealed, Boxes are built to protect the lettuce in transport. They're carefully packed, graded according to the quality of the crop, and sent off to be chilled.